I saw an interview with Nina Turner from one or two days ago with a channel called Generational Change. I'll link it in the description. She said something that I found really weird and arrogant. She said, I and others like me are the greatest resource that you have. And she was speaking in reference to progressives who may be critical of her or may not agree with everything she does. She said, just because I might not have reacted the way you want me to all the time, doesn't mean you should just throw me away. And she was applying the same logic to others like her. Obviously, she's referring to the squad. I think we should be aware of any politician who insists to us that they're our ally. It's like a friend who insists that they're your friend, but your real friends don't need to insist that they're your friend. You just know it. You be the one to decide who your real friends are. You be the one to decide who your real allies are. It just seemed very grandiose for her to say that they are the biggest resource we have. Basically, she's telling us that we can't really do shit without her or the squad. And that's ridiculous. In that same interview, she's talking about holding the Democratic Party accountable and holding elected officials accountable, including her. But like, she didn't support force the vote. So I don't really know what she's on about. Actually, I do. I mean, yo, I think she's on some bullshit. And I've made other videos explaining this more in depth. There's another person who also does this thing about insisting that certain people are our allies, and that's Kyle Kalinske. In his summation about why force the vote didn't work, he had a few takes which I disagreed with. I'm not going to get into the whole thing right now. Just want to point out one thing that he said that was similar to what Nina said about herself. Kyle just insisted that the squad are our allies and... He was just declaring that he had no doubt, basically, that they were our allies and they were trying to do the best they could. But it's like, those kind of statements don't seem to need any proof, I notice. Like, certain people, Jordan Sheraton does similar stuff too about Bernie. Just basically insisting emphatically that they're our allies and that they're not sellouts. And it's just like unquestionable and they really never make a good argument for why. The only argument they bring up is usually to say, oh, but look when they did this, that or the other back in the past. And that's one thing I constantly notice. Anytime I criticize Bernie, the squad, or even Tulsi, I hear the same kind of response. They say, oh, but remember when she did this, this and that, that was good. And I think people don't understand how selling out works. I think people don't understand how sheepdogs infiltrate movements. You can't be a sellout until you've actually uh, accumulated some goodwill. When people infiltrate movements, to do it successfully, they actually need to seem like they're doing good and saying good things, at least up to a point. That's how they gain people's trust. You can't become a sellout without gaining people's trust in the first place. So like the fact that they keep pointing out the good things they did in the past, that's not an argument, yo. You may say that they did good things in the past and that means that their intentions are good, but we shouldn't focus on intentions. At the end of the day, no matter who it is, judge them by their actions. If they are taking actions that don't seem like they're fighting and it doesn't seem like they're representing what we need, we have the right to decide who our allies are.